Young at Heart by Pam Young Playing Hurt My husband Terry loves to watch professional football, and I like to watch it with him. Over the years, I've enjoyed learning the rules of the game from him, and of course I get a kick out of some of those adorable quarterback bodies in their tight uniforms. In the beginning, I had a couple of terminology misunderstandings cleared up, which Terry found particularly amusing. My comment after hearing the announcer exclaim, so-and-so is a pro bowler, was, wow, imagine being a great football player and a professional bowler. Terry explained that a pro bowler is a player who is so good he gets to play in the pro bowl, some big deal game once a year. Another time during a game, the announcer said, so-and-so is playing hurt. And I said to Terry, if I were that crybaby's coach, he'd be off the team before he knew what hit him. Of course, I learned that the player wasn't faking being hurt, but was actually playing with a terrible injury. Speaking of playing hurt, it reminds me of an accident I had a couple of years ago while we were on vacation at my bonus daughter's home in Boston. I fell in the dark on the basement stairs and broke two ribs. It was a very hot night when I woke up thirsty and sweaty at 3.30 a.m. I went downstairs to sleep in the basement where it was heavenly cool. I thought I'd maneuvered all the steps, and expecting I was through with the descent, I put my body in level mode and took a nice big stride into thin air and slammed into the next two stairs with a prone body. I immediately got up and walked around telling myself I was all right. I lay down on the comfy couch and practiced filling my mind with beautiful thoughts. I even managed to fall asleep. I awoke at seven, and as I lay there, I thought, Maybe I can manage to get through this without telling anyone I fell. It was the idea that I don't want to bother anyone. It was not wanting to disturb anyone out of sleep by turning on lights and then not wanting to put anyone out to help me because I was injured that caused the don't tell thought. Silly me. I made it up to the third floor and onto the bed while Terry slept peacefully. He woke about 7.30 and by then I knew I had to tell because... I couldn't move. In 1963, I broke ribs on my honeymoon when my first husband and I were in a car accident. A car going approximately 60 miles per hour hit our car in the rear end while our car was at a standstill. Because of that experience, I knew there was nothing one can do for broken, cracked, or bruised ribs, so I didn't go to the doctor. Again, I didn't want to bother anyone, and besides, it was Sunday, and we still had three more days of vacation, and I didn't want some doctor telling me I couldn't still play. We flew home on the wings of Alaska and ibuprofen, and that's when I really had to practice what I preach about being happy regardless of circumstances. It was an eight-hour flight, and I was in such pain we went to the doctor the next day for some serious painkillers. I learned we have to be willing to bother others when it's appropriate, and certainly turning on lights in a strange house is appropriate, and getting help when we're injured is too. And for God's sake, don't play hurt. Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with.